Morning, morning, America. Ali here, and we got another class that is on fire, fire, fire that's ready for you. And I am. I hope you're ready for me. We'll give everybody their respect for uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Good morning, Stephen. I see you. How you doing, sir? How's the weather out there? I know you guys have uh, interesting weathers. We're about to hop on right now. Good morning, good morning. I see you guys. Man, everybody's jumping on right now. Hello, hello. Good morning. Where's everybody from? Good morning. Hello. Hi. Good morning. I see you all. Thank you, thank you for that invite, sir. I appreciate you as always. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give us a... And invite to your Facebook followers, Twitter followers, um, parish school followers. If you don't know how to do that, just swipe from the left to the right if you're an Apple product. Or swipe up if you're an Android and you're going to see that share button. And uh, you see those hearts are in the corner? That's you saying, I like, I like, I like, I like. Because uh, as we're giving this message, you keep us motivated to give you even more. And wake up the next morning yet again and do it yet again 365 or as much as we possibly humanly can. Uh, Facebook, good morning to you as well. You can 100% absolutely share this message with everybody. And you, you have a comment box below. You can leave a message or two as people can see who you are uh, as well. So uh, today is Library Tuesday, and I am Ali Medawi, and uh, I will be uh, giving you the usual uh, class at 8.30 a.m. and sharing with you everything that I have done uh, to build organizations and to build businesses from traditional business to uh, network marketing businesses, to e-commerce in six countries and 27 states, to now be uh, an author with a book that is coming out in a couple of days, which I'm super, super excited about, um, and give you my f full blueprint of how I got there. Uh, and we have an event that sold out uh, already, uh, so t uh, registration is already closed, but uh, it's this Saturday in King of Prussia, which I'm super excited about. All right, so while the hearts are coming out and the excitement is still going, uh, today's Library Tuesday has been picked uh, by Rachel Weiberg, or Weiberg, I think it's Weiberg. Rachel Weiberg is from uh, uh, Brendan, Manitoba, Canada, and she's definitely awesome. She's actually a professional network marketer and uh, ambitious and always uh, uh, passionate about health and wellness and business overall. Hello, Ashley. And uh, she's hungry to build massive, massive organizations. She uh, puts blood, sweat, and tears in everyone that is uh, uh, ready to work with her and conquer the world. And uh, you can find her on Facebook. She's a friend of mine there, and she jumps on, on Periscope every now and then as well. So the book that she picked, and it was interesting how she sent me the message, um, you know, letting me know, hey, for Library Tuesday, I'd like to recommend this book. And I don't know if you've heard of it, and it's called The Miracle Morning by Elrod. The Miracle Morning, actually, I um, but two years ago, my uh, my coach uh, Bob Heilig actually uh, told me, hey, you gotta check this out because I had a lot of crazy things going on. I mean, it was just punch after punch after punch. It was just some personal issues, family issues, just like the rest of the world, right? He goes like, you really want to, uh, you know, take a listen to this book or or read it. So I downloaded it on Audible.com at the time, uh, and, and again, if you missed it, it's The Miracle Morning, and I'm just going to give you a couple of bullet points, because uh, you, you want to read it or listen to it by itself, but I literally, uh, my morning routine is by that book, and here's the interesting thing, I finish my day at 12 o'clock, like my business is done at 12 o'clock, while most people by 12 o'clock are just halfway through their day, or maybe, maybe just started two or three hours uh, into their day. So here is some of the things. So it's my morning routine. First things first, the book suggests to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And the majority say, I can't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. The question is, do you value your time, your business, your life, your health enough to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning? Because I know one thing for a fact. You know, when you had that vacation, uh, you know, that was in the Caribbean or, or, or wherever it is that you needed to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to get your butt to the airport, you woke up. You were happy, motivated, and excited, right? So, good morning. Uh, so, 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 wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Force yourself to go to bed early. Stop wasting your time and your health and, and on eating late and watching TV late that is irrelevant. Do something good for you. You know, the best thing that you own is your body. Uh, so, so, take care of it. Be self-care with it. 
So 5 o'clock in the morning, and here is why. When you wake up that early in the morning, your mindset itself just opens up, just expands. Your, your, your uh, uh, mental cells are so fresh. Your brain cells are so ready to conquer the world. Your train of thought itself is ready to just expand. And anything that you would put into it is so relevant to do it right away. The moment you wake up, make sure next to your bed somewhere, have a full glass of water, 12 ounces of water. Now, here's the thing. Make sure if you're the kind of person like me that moves in the middle of the night, uh, have a bottle, you know, one of those bottles with the top and, and actually, you know, put it a little bit far because what I did a couple of times and my wife would just be like, Holly, you did it again in the middle of the night. I'll just, you know, move my big hands and I'll just drop the whole glass. So make sure that it is close enough. And the other thing is make sure that the alarm is set on your phone, but put the phone far away. Don't leave the phone next to you because you will snooze it. So put the phone far away, uh, but close enough that you can still hear it so you will actually wake up. And as soon as you turn off that alarm, you're up, you're on your feet. Drink that full cup of water and, and subconsciously what it does, you're flushing yesterday out of your body. You're literally putting a fresh cup of water, right? And the uh, water is, is um, you know, uh, you heard before like the water of life, right? Water of life is, is positivity, is greatness, is anything and everything that is positive that goes through you. And that water represents just that. So drink that full cup of water. Um, the book suggests to uh, try. Uh, many people either say they don't know or they are not committed to meditation because they think it's some, you know, guru, you know, crazy kumbaya stuff. But I meditate in the morning. As a matter of fact, I suggested a, uh, a documentary on Netflix uh, yesterday, which was I'm Not Your Guru, uh, Tony Robbins' new documentary, which... I highly, highly recommend. I watched it four times already. I'm going to watch it probably 20 to 30 times because I want to absorb everything uh, within me and learn everything that that documentary represents. Um, so, so meditate, you know, sit down quietly, put some headphones in your ear, some classical music or, or, you know, go to YouTube and put, you know, a sound of birds and seas, right? And you're going to have relaxing music and just sit there, close your eyes and just really dive into your imagination, dive into your mindset of just letting your brain manifest, letting your mind create whatever it is that is designed for you in the future, but you're literally creating it right now. What does that do for you? It allows your mindset to be positive from the very early in the morning. It allows your brain, it's like, it's like your mind is automatically organizing everything. And I kid you not, like I literally, as I'm manifesting, I, 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 things start ticking in my head, like thinking about I got to make this call, I got to make this call, I got to send this email, I got to do this, I got to follow up with that person, and automatically you're having a game plan that starts to happen for you. That's why meditation is really important. You're getting a clear vision of what you need to do, and doing it daily, it focuses on what you need to do every single day. You'll find this information on, uh, with detail, obviously, on the Miracle Morning. Um, eat healthy. You know, it's, it's not easy to eat healthy. I understand that, but it's not hard neither. You know, uh, I talked about this again yesterday. My wife and I decided that we were going to start cooking for three to four days in advance. You know, the shelf life of food is usually four days. So we wanted to cook ahead. Why? Because we know how lazy you can get of wanting to cook, then clean the dishes and all that kind of stuff. And you end up saying, what? let's just order. Let's just go and buy a salad. Let's just do this and let's just do that. So to make sure that you're not breaking the bank and to make sure that you're not feeling all lazy and, and not motivated, guess what? Cook in advance. You know, uh, egg whites, uh, uh, you know, uh, meats, chicken, all these different things that you want, like that you need, and make sure that you have it stored and ready for grab and go. It'll allow you to actually be in the right place and the right mindset. The very first meal in the morning is the important one. We've heard it since we were kids, and it's true. You know, however you start your day, you will finish it. So if you are not giving your body the proper nutrition, you get tired, you get cranky, you get in a certain type of mindset that does not allow you to focus on the positive side of whatever it is that you're going to do. So eating healthy is important. Organic is much, much better. You know, uh, whole green uh, uh, and, and so much more. Again, read the book. It'll go over all that detail. Uh, try to get a workout out of the way early in the morning. Now, you know, some say I don't have time to go work out. That's bull. Here's the thing, go to YouTube, put 10 minute workouts, put the phone in front of you and just work out with it. All right, let's, let's cut the excuses, let's cut the crap. Just literally, YouTube, 10 minute workout and just follow along and do it every single morning. That 10 minute 
not only will pump the right bloodstream in your body, not only it can, it can makes you motivated like, wow, I got to work out out of the way and you start building a positive routine um, and, and you starting your day right. So look at how many things you've done. This is literally from five o'clock, probably by six, six thirty, I'm done. You know, and then the productivity starts. Literally from that 6.30, I start preparing for what I'm doing with you right now. I read a little bit. I write a little bit. I answer all my emails so they're completely out of the way. And guess what? For the very first, you know, maybe from, from uh, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, I'm getting all my phone calls out of the way. I'm getting everybody organized and wherever they need to be going. And now from 12 to whatever, it's just whatever comes from there. It literally feels like I finished my day at 12 o'clock. So, the, you know, many people ask me, like, how do you juggle so many businesses? How do you juggle so many different things? I am busy, but I'm always available. I, it's not easy for me to do what I do, but it's not hard neither. It's all about perspective. See, many people cop out and automatically take the smallest little things and make them an excuse so they don't deal with the big ones. Right. So it is important for you to take responsibility for your own actions. Guess what? You want more time? Wake up early. You want more rest? Go to sleep early. You want to eat better? Cook it ahead of time. I mean, there's a solution for every problem. And if you tell me there is no solution, it was never a problem to begin with. The problem is that the fact that we think we shouldn't have one. We all have problems and we will continue to have problems. It's just the nature of the human, human element that we are in. But happiness comes from fulfilling and, and fixing that problem. That's where we get excited. It's like playing a game. When you actually solve the puzzle or you get to the next stage of your video game or Pokemon Go or whatever, <laughs> right? Guess what happens? You yourself feel that sense of fulfillment, of happiness, of joy, of abundance. I finished the role, the, 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 the routine. I got it, the day done. You know, there's nothing that I love more than finishing a workout when I go to the boot camp with my wife. There's nothing I hate more than walking into the boot camp when I go to work out with my wife, <laughs> right? But that's the whole idea of life. We don't like the problems. We hate the problems. We hate the financial hurdles. We hate the fact that we don't have momentum. But the joy comes from completing those aspects of life. And that's why this book will definitely change your mindset and it will give you a blueprint of the proper routine of starting your morning, right? So you too can be productive. So you too by 12 o'clock, your work is done. Now you're just focusing on helping others. Literally from 12 on, I'm just waiting for phone calls to see who needs assistance, whether it's a three-way call, whether it's a coaching session, whether it's whatever it is. Um, you know, and, and if I don't hear from anybody, I, trust me, I'll... I'll do tomorrow's work today, um, you know, or I'll try to pick up uh, other people's slacks as much as possible because I was born to surf. So anyhow, uh, as I've mentioned to all of you, uh, the uh, Empowered Self event has sold out already. Um, I've announced two days ago that I had some free tickets. They're a $100 value that I created uh, something called a pay it forward promotion. You can't get it yourself, but someone else can recommend you or you yourself can give it to somebody else. So here it is for your Periscope to get more information. EmpoweredSelf2016.com. It is sold out, so no one can you know buy a ticket. Uh, but let me know uh, if you have somebody or if somebody wants to recommend you for a free ticket. Uh, EmpoweredSelf2016.com. That's a hundred dollar value just because we went very very cheap with it. But in reality, it's five hundred to a thousand dollar value because. All the speakers that we have in their respectful lanes, um, they, they, they charge a whole lot more than that per ticket. Um, you know, and you can look them up and see what they have done. Bob Heilig, your virtual upline and my personal um, mentor and coach. John and Nadia Melton, the, the first couple of branding and marketing. Kevin Marino, who's built a, a seven-figure business with a text message system. Uh, Bob Doran, who from traditional business to network marketing business, still still a seven-figure earner. Uh, and yours truly, which I'll give you uh, my blueprint of how I went from a living room uh, representative right, to becoming um, I guess a little bit of an authority in the business world um, and, and, and so much more. And by the way, uh, I got news yesterday uh, because of um, uh, the, the, the votes that have been going out and whatnot. Now, not yet. for You can still vote for me to be on the cover. <laughs> so you can definitely go uh, to the uh, Networking Times magazine page and just tag my name in the comment that you got to vote for me to be on the front page um, on the cover of the magazine. However... Uh, there were, I believe, 15 submissions uh, for the article 
uh, that is coming out in September. I can't give it away. Uh, I can't, unfortunately. Uh, but I've been selected uh, to have my article featured uh, on the actual magazine itself. So that's coming out in September. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for all of you that make all this uh, possible. You know I'm going to uh, uh, probably buy 100 to 200 magazines and I'll just send them out to everybody. Uh, yes, it is. I'm pretty excited about it. Thank you. Um, but you can also go to my website, MedaiWayEnterprise.org. You'll see my interview with uh, Simon Chan on MLMNation.net. Uh, you can see uh, my uh, a virtual article that I had, the first one I had with Networking Times Magazine and so many different publications and things that are going on. You can get a sneak peek to my book, The Lion Network Marketer, and so much more uh, for, for yourself. And remember, if you or anyone need a free ticket for Empowered Self, uh, we have a couple of extra chairs, but you can't tell me yourself, hey, I'll give me a free ticket. You have to recommend somebody or somebody else has to recommend you. Uh, that way we are creating a paid forward mindset, which I like a lot. So thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the hearts. Tomorrow is Momentum Wednesday. Uh, so you know tomorrow is going to be on fire as every Momentum Wednesday. It's like the most viewed video of the week every time. Usually it gets anywhere to uh, 800 to 1,000 views, which is pretty awesome. It gets me excited that I'm doing something right for you guys. So hasta mañana, everybody. Ali Madawi, we are out. Uh, for whomever is coming Saturday, I'm excited for you. And for everybody else, have a blessed day. Take care, everybody.